This is the help video for the Venn Paint online exercise. So I'll show you some of the basics and then you can have a go at the exercise to see if you can answer the questions. Right, what's a Venn diagram? Well, a Venn diagram is really an illustration of sets. If you have like a set of numbers or a set of data about people or anything really, you could represent everything that is in that set as a circle. But the beauty of Venn diagrams is that circles representing different sets may sometimes overlap because there could be some elements of those sets that are in both of the circles. So here's a diagram you might see in one of the questions. First of all, the rectangle is a special set. It's called the universal set and that means everything that's under consideration that we're thinking about when we're looking at this data. And the two circles in this case, one's called set A and the other's called set B, and they overlap. And in the middle there is the overlapping area. So what might the question say? Well the question might say colour in all of set A to show set A. So if we had to do that, then we would colour in all of set A. And you'll notice during this that my colouring in isn't the best, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I think everybody can see that I have coloured in the set A. The next thing you need to know is something called intersection and that's the proper name for the overlap of the sets. So the way it's shown in, the, in this diagram is where the, these two circles overlap and this overlapping area is called the intersection and the way it's written down is set A intersects with set B. That little symbol in the middle, it looks a bit like a letter N, but it's not. It's just sometimes called a little cap. It's a little sort of, sort of a semicircle, I suppose. A little hump cap. What else can I use to describe it? But the word is and. Because that intersecting region shows the data that's in set a and in set B. Can you see that that region is in both of sets A and B? So the shorthand way of writing that is with that little symbol, so that's the thing you need to remember. That symbol means intersection and you can say it as and. The next one to know is called union. And the union is written like this. And that symbol is sometimes called a cup. It's the upside down version of the one we just looked at. And in this case, it means or. So you can say, I need to colour in everything that's in A or B. So I'll colour in the bits that are in A. And these are in both of them. And then these over here are in B. So I've coloured in everything that's either in A or in B, even though my colouring leaves a lot to be desired. So that's called the union, the little cup notation, and it means or. And the last word to introduce you to is this word complement. And this means In this case, everything that is not in set A. So the word to remember for this is the word not. Everything that's not in set A. Well, all of this is not in set A. All over here. It's in the universal set, but not in set A. And in fact, this in, in B is not in A. 
so this needs to be colored in as well so if you can imagine better coloring than I'm doing you've got everything that is not in A. All right, let's have a look at some questions that you might get on the online exercise. So here we go. Right, this one here. We've got brackets. And as you know, with the order of operations, we normally do what's inside the brackets first and then attend to everything else. So inside the brackets, we've got A union B. So if you can just imagine A union B, but outside the brackets is this complement sign, sometimes called prime or dashed. It means everything not in A union B. So everything that's not in A union B would be, we still have to be within the universal set, but it would be everything that's outside this region here. Everything that's not in A union B. A not intersection with B. Remember the intersection means and or the overlap. It's where everything that's not in A overlaps set B. So in your imagination, can you just think of everything that's not in A? So that's all the way around here. And where does that overlap with set B? So the answer is here. Because everything I'm colouring in green is not in A, but it is in B. So it's where the complement of A intersects with B. This time we have A intersection B inside the brackets with the complement or the prime sign outside the brackets. So let's think what's inside. Remember that means AND. So A intersection B is this region here. It's where A intersects with B or overlaps B. And we have to colour in everything that's not in that small region there. So I've got a big colouring job here because it's everything apart from that little region there. So I've coloured in everything that's not in A intersection B. And the last example for level one is this huge one here. Wow, two sets of brackets here. Now in between the brackets there's a union sign. That means or. So it's everything in that region or that region. Doesn't matter as long as it's in one of those two we can colour it in. It doesn't have to be in both, it just has to be in one of them. Now wherever you see a union sign between two brackets you can basically do the two sides independently just go ahead and color them in because we're going to color it everything that's in that region and everything that's in that region because it's an or or a union sign so if you like I could forget that right hand side and just concentrate on that and color that in straight away a union B well that's easy to do a union B is everything in the two sets a and B and as well it's everything here a not or a prime intersection with B not so where does everything that's not in a overlap with everything that's not in B well I think that is going to be this outside region here because it's both not in a and it's not in B so that's why I can color that region in there. So in fact, the whole of the universal set in this case has been colored in. Okay, have a go at level one in the online exercise called Venn Paint. And there's a button that you can click to check you're getting the answers right. 
You can use the undo button if you colour in incorrectly, which is something that I haven't been able to do. Good luck. And now let's have a look at some questions that are in level two of the online exercise. And in this case, we have three sets represented in our Venn diagram within that universal set. So you shouldn't be put off by the fact that there are three sets. It's just the same principle as before. This case, B union C means both B and C are colored in the union of them. So B and C, let's go for this. And my coloring hasn't improved much, but everything in B and C needs to be colored in here. This question is A intersection B. Only the sets A and B are mentioned. So we can just ignore the circle that represents set C altogether. It's the intersection or the overlap of A and B. So that is this region in the middle right here. This example does involve all three sets. We have A union B union C. So we color everything that's in A or B or C. So that basically means the three circles. Now this example is the complement of C or C not. Everything that's not in set C. So again, you ignore sets A and B you just think of everything that's not inside the C circle. Right, this question does involve A, B and C. It's A, intersection B, union with C. So we'll think of it from left to right. Let's think of A intersection B first. Well, the intersection of A and B is this region right here. And we want to know where that is union with C. So that means putting them together. So it's that region that we were thinking about first, union with C. So it's going to look like this. This question says B not union with C. So everything that's not in B combined with C, which really means because of the union sign, you can color in both sides of this independently because we want to include both. So first of all, I'm just going to color everything that's not in B. Everything that's not in B. And that is union with C. So now I'm going to color everything that's in C. And finally, for level two, here we have a huge expression here. But because there's that union sign in the middle, it means we can do the two sides independently. So we can forget about that altogether and color that one in. And then we can forget about that and just color that one in. So first of all, I'm going to go for the A intersection B which is nice and easy to do. And that's union with B intersection C. B and C intersection.
Okay, those are the examples for level two. So have a go at the online exercise. Remember to click the check button to see if you're getting them right. And you could always try them again if you're not getting them right. There's an undo button and you can get rid of the color by choosing a black color and coloring it in. And I'll be back for level three. Let's start off with this example here, which shows two disjoint sets. That's two sets, A and B, that don't overlap. There's no intersection. And we're being asked to colour in A union B, and in brackets, with the prime or the not sign outside. So it's the complement of A union B. So let's do inside the brackets first in our minds. Let's do A union B. That's all of A and all of B. That's the union of A and B. And let's think of everything that was not coloured in in that little mind experiment. Everything that was not coloured in is this. And in this example, we have set A is completely inside of set B. So in fact, A is a subset of B. Right, we're being asked to colour in everything that's not in A, intersection with B. That means the overlap of everything that's not in A with B. Can you see where that is? Everything that's not in A but is in B. This example again we have two disjoint sets and we have a huge thing to color in two sets of brackets joined by a union luckily it's a union because if it's a union it means everything on either side so we can look at the two bits independently so I'm going to forget this second bit to start with and just color in a union B this side it's a not intersection with B not everything that's not in a which overlaps with everything that's not in B and the last example we have three sets a B and C where B and C overlap they have an intersection and we're being asked to colour in A union B not. So that's A union B not, everything that's not in A union B, intersection with C. So everything that's not in A or B, but is in C. Can you see where that is? I think it's just this region here. Okay, you should now be able to do level three of the online exercise. Don't forget to click that check button to see if you're getting everything right and claim your trophy when you've completed the level. And there are other sets and Venn diagram activities on the Transom website. And in fact, there are lots more mathematical activities all free for you to have a go at and earn a trophy for. So good luck, bye. You can find Transum Mathematics at www.transum.org, where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free. Or jump in with both feet and become a Transum subscriber.